Morning. Morning. <laughs> Morning. <laughs> we're in Phil's bra. Apparently we're in a good mood. Mm. <laughs> We've had about two hours of admin, boat admin, like water filling and all that because we're right next to the service station there's a 24-hour mooring here which is a very convenient mooring if you need the services in the morning <laughs> and it's also convenient for the shop because if you moor on the other side it's like a five minute walk down to the bridge and then back yeah um so we had two nights over there on the seven day moorings and then we came across here to the 24-hour mooring and had one night here and now we are continuing on to the end to yeah. Preston, so where it's... we have to basically get a boat survey done. It's two days till we go back on the Ribble. Found out today we're going on the highest tide possible, which is uh, good. <laughs> Michael's all getting saying, well, well, how high is the tide? <laughs> Grannies do it. Anyway. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Michael's clearly getting irritated with me. On a regular basis. So, uh, yeah. Our, our, our more golden age citizens do the Ribble link. It's not a problem. <laughs> Was it more adventurous than me? Michael's scheming to get us from Liverpool to Ellesmere Port across the Mersey and then from Ellesmere Port to Manchester on the Manchester Ship Canal. And to do that, we need to get some special kind of survey done. So we're getting that done tomorrow, hopefully, in Preston. So we need to get to Preston today. We need to get to Preston today. We need to attach our longer new centre lines. And, you know, that's basically it. And then uh, we wait for that tomorrow. And once we're authorized to do that, we have a few more steps, and it's all still extremely up in the air because it totally depends on weather. Yeah. Uh, and there's a very short window. So Fingers don't be disappointed if it doesn't happen. You'll be disappointed. I'll be disappointed, but the rest of the world need not know about my disappointments. <laughs> Just me. Fair enough. <laughs> all right, should we go? Yes. So there is seven, no, more than, there's about quite ten, a few miles. About ten miles. About ten miles. But only one um, potential swing bridge. Neither of us really remembers passing it in the other direction. No, is it right? Yeah. <laughs> so right. we'll see. Let's go. Okay. This may have been a convenient mooring for the shops and services, but because we're on the opposite side to the towpath, George and I have to walk along the road and across the bridge, while Michael cruises past the rest of the Billsborough moorings. Billsborough is a pretty small village, and as soon as we pass under the bridge, we emerge out into the countryside. What a beautiful day we've been blessed with for our last cruise along the Lancaster Canal. Today's trip is actually a pretty long one. It's 13 miles in total, but with no locks to pass through, it should be pretty straightforward. George and I aren't going to be able to walk all the way to Preston, but this is pretty ideal for now. It's now the end of September and there's noticeably less traffic. Most of the boats that visited the Lancaster Canal in the summer will now be back on the main network as the Ribble Link is due to close for winter in a few days. We're actually going back on the second to last crossing of the season. It seems like the cows keep Hollowforth Swing Bridge permanently open now. No wonder we couldn't remember passing through it going north.
That's three miles done. Time for George and I to climb aboard. There are some visitor moorings just north of Pendle Marine and we come across a boat that's come off its moorings and swung across the canal. We stop to pull it in, only to find that a ring attached to a block of concrete has been pulled out of the ground and into the canal. So as well as heaving the boat back, Michael has to pull the concrete block out of the water. There's nowhere else to attach the boat, so we secure it as best we can. We report it to the CRT who will hopefully contact the owner. It's been a long cruise, but we start to see more and more signs that we're getting closer to the city. Finally, we turn into the junction with the Savick Brook. Um, yeah, so we have arrived back at the top of the basin above the rural link. Well, by Savick Brook. By Savick Brook, yeah, right, sorry. Yes, same thing. Wait, hold on. Top of the locks, above Savick Brook, which is the beginning of the Rebel Link, um, where we are going to be overnight because we are having a marine surveyor come out tomorrow to check the boat to get us a, what is it called? A marine? navigation, uh, I can't remember the name. Seaworthy? Of it. Seaworthiness certificate, that's the one. Because we don't even know we're not going out to sea. Peel Ports, who manages the Liverpool Ports, the Manchester Ship Canal, the River Mersey, and the Bridgewater Canal, um, requires something called a seaworthiness certificate to do the Manchester Ship Canal itself. And we're still not completely certain we're going to be doing it because of weather. We've got timing blocked out and everything. 
but there's only a certain amount of time before we're actually um, shut down and not allowed to do that portion for the winter. So we'll see if we make it, but in order to make it, we have to have the seaworthiness certificate, and the seaworthiness certificate requires an inspection via a sort of set of approved um, marine surveyors. So one's coming out tomorrow to do the checks. It is not as complicated as the boat safety certificate. It is also nowhere near as expensive as the boat safety certificate. It turns out it's more or less just double checking that we have all of the required safety gear um, and lines and the anchor and so on. So we're all well prepared for that. We have no problems. We will pass it with flying colors. Famous last words. Um, yes, but <laughs> uh, but in theory, we're, we're ready to go based on everything that's on the list. So. It's more or less just a formality, but we have to arrange to meet with the guy to do that, and this is the location where that's best to have happen. So, uh, that will happen tomorrow. And then um, the next day, we will go down the River Link. How was your time on the Lancaster Canal? I've loved it. <laughs> Lancaster Canal is great. I wish we'd had a little bit more time. I wish we hadn't been so confined to waiting for things like waiting for the computer having to get chains from lancaster waiting for parcels yeah well all of that is kind of just stuff that naturally occurs i know when you're but it, on a boat. it meant that we had to have a long time in lancaster and that we had to get to billsborough before the weekend yeah but this is why i i wish we'd had longer yeah if mm. we if we'd had if we hadn't been constrained by the fact that October 3rd is the last day that they let you off. And today so is. we had to book in on October 2nd. Today is yeah. today's the 30th of September. Um, we have a limited window to get off, which meant we had a lim limited window on and the, the only Lancaster. the only booking available to come up was the 13th of September. Yeah. Like there was no other, and the whole thing, there was yeah. no other date. So we had an up. instant constraint of these are the days you will have on the Lancaster <laughs> Canal. And there just wasn't quite enough of them for a 40 mile long canal. No, there was enough, but it would have been nice to go a little bit slower. Oh yeah. But well, in like, for instance, Garstang, I would have liked to have yeah. actually gotten a chance to walk into Garstang. Yeah. There's supposed to be quite a few but nice old shops that are still very local, small mom and pop shops. And that sounded like a good really visit. Really nice. Yeah. But the boat that came up with us or one of the boats that came up with us did it in four days and they did everything. So they kind of, they must've seen nothing other than yeah, like. Yeah. Just skipped it all. Yeah. To me, there's all these nice communities that I would have liked to have spent a little more time around. Instead, we spent a lot of time in Lancaster. Which is lovely. Yeah, it was lovely, great. Lovely place. And Billsborough was lovely. Yeah. But it would have been nice to spread that out a little more. And a week's more time on the canal would have done that. Yeah. So if you're coming up, four weeks. try and get a good four weeks. It's a long canal. Yeah. Even without any locks on it. It's yeah. a substantial canal with quite a few places to stop. So it, it's worth doing that. And then when we go down, we've got two days to get to the Liverpool link. Yeah. So he's going to be yeah, totally cramming it as soon as we get across. <laughs> and then we get to chill out in Liverpool for a few days and then the, one more adventure or two more adventures, the Mersey and the Ship Canal. And then I swear I'm going to move for two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> and this is if that all comes to pass, because if it doesn't, if the weather goes completely bad, if the hurricane that is currently in the middle of the Atlantic decides to hit Ireland, which if would we, be unprecedented, but you never know. If we can't get off the river link to, uh, the day after tomorrow, yeah. that like everything else gets the, there could back. be there could be some some cascade failures, and we have until roughly the fifteenth of October to do the ship canal, or they simply won't allow it. But, uh, but that's assuming that the tides are fine on the Mersey and the pilots available. So it's going to be tight if yeah, things don't move as we plan as we've planned already. Yeah. So so if it all works out, we have to totally boot it as we get off the bottom of the river link yeah day after tomorrow well i think we go straight down to st mary's straight down to st mary's overnight and there. then after that one night in st mary's it's Fuel all up. the way off all the way off the rufford branch yeah, and, and then and then as far down towards lancaster as we can make it no it's not lancaster liverpool as yes. we can make it <laughs> um yeah and then you know then we've got that third day to actually Do get the, there if at all if, if necessary so it's <laughs> It's tight. It's definitely tight, but it'll we'll, we'll that, do it. And that comes on the, off the back of Ray not, not rushing, being on a schedule to get to the Ribble Link last month. So yeah. Always on a schedule. So the good thing is, is that once, if it all comes to pass and we make it to Manchester, we don't have Anything any else. deadlines 
except for the entirety of the winter stoppages, which all begin about a week after we get off. We're going to get off the Manchester. We're going to get to the to the end of the Bridgewater. We're going to find a place where we can be like, okay, that's it. We're just staying still. And then we're going to look at all of the stoppages and go, right, here's where we go next. <laughs> oh, I so thought this narrow boat life was going to be relaxing. <laughs> it's, it's not so relaxing. We're not complaining, though. We're loving it. Oh, uh, yeah. But I look forward to the winter. Uh, you know, we are, except for the cold, the wet, the miserable part. But everything else. We're going to try and move less this winter after yeah, last winter. Little, but little it, all, it all depends on the stoppages. Exactly. So we've got, um, yeah, nothing to do right now, right? We got, we got, we got to get George back on board. We've got to get a fire going. Do you want a fire? And we have an, we have a phone interview to do in an hour, uh, and then after that, we're going to walk into a little. little Maybe we should leave the fire until after we've met the little yeah. one. Yeah. So thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up. If you feel like it, comment down below. If you'd like to, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you want to get notifications, click that belly thing so that YouTube can dingly beep you. Wait, you are wearing glasses. They're just on the top of your head. Yeah. Should I take this off? Yeah. Because the world needs to see that hair. <laughs> we need to find a barbar. -bar. <clears throat> bar bar. We are the uh, the good hair people. Comment down below whose hair's worse. Is it Michael's or is it mine? Ooh. <laughs> well, that could get bad. <laughs> George, all the way. Yeah, peel ports which runs the Lancaster, Lancaster, Peel Ports, which runs the Liverpool Ports and the oh. Manchester Ship Canal. I'm sorry, it's Liverpool Canal. Say again. Peel Ports, which runs the Liverpool, and now you've, now you've jinxed me. Peel Ports, which runs the Liverpool Port, Manchester Ship Canal, and the... Bridgewater. Uh, thank you. You're welcome. Wasn't getting there myself. <laughs> Were you? No, yeah, I might have been. Anyway. Um, say, say again. Peel Ports. Thanks for watching. Give us that thumbs up if you want to. Need that dog to shut up. Thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up and comment down below if you want to give us. Good God. Just talk through it. it well, you can't hear it. You'll hear it, but it was not like that. That was what was worse. It is true. All right, three, two. So thanks for watching. Give. Oh, it's what? just, it's distracting me. Right, okay, I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. So, thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up. Now there's up. a train. Now there's a train. <laughs> Quick. Tell me when it's clear. It's clear. Go. So, thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up. Comment down below if you want to leave anything in the notifications. <laughs> Everybody's distracting me.